I stay ready. I don't know why it's doing that now. Anyway. Test, 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 test. Testing one, two. Test. Well, good evening, Raider Nation. My name is Brent Johnson. I'm along with Coach Sky Keck. And thank you for joining us on the NFHS Network, powered by Play on Sports, brought to you by BCTV's Red Raider Broadcasting. And that is an extension of my engineering and technology program at Bacon County High School. It is a student broadcasting program, <clears throat> albeit no students this evening. But uh, 95% of the time I do have students helping produce video even once in a while commentate. 95% of the time, that's a pretty accurate number. <laughs> you keep up with that data? I do. I do. I got it right here. Um, but, yeah, uh, thank you for joining us, uh, you faithful subscribers. Those that uh, We always encourage you to, to show up, uh, especially to home games, to support our young men and women uh, as they uh, support our uh, athletics as student athletes. Um, but those of you that can't, uh, can't make it uh, for various reasons, we do appreciate you subscribing and watching uh, live and, and on demand uh, afterwards. Um, over the years, Lord of mercy, it's been uh, almost 12 years now we've been doing this. Uh, doesn't doesn't get – I'm getting older, but it doesn't get real old doing it. I, again, I love athletics, number one, and I'm all about Bacon County, uh, everything. So uh, it, that, that's important. Um, so if, if we can reach one person, you know, that, that's what we started out, uh, you know, giving our community an opportunity uh, to see these things uh, when sometimes they can't. You know, we broadcasted to where uh, folks all over the world, literally, military moms and dads uh, and former Raiders are able to tune in and watch either live or on demand, depending on their time zone. Uh, makes it worthwhile if we can do that. Uh, so, again, I want to thank, uh, before I let uh, Sky start talking and he won't quit, um, <laughs> I want to I want to uh, mention uh, – Talk just a little bit about our 2022-23 athletic school year title sponsors, and that's going to be Coley Electric and Plumbing Supply. Miss Lisa Coley, I want to thank her and her friendly staff for her support, and she is uh, just like all these people. They support Red Raider Nation, um, and uh, from from rec ball all the way up to the high school athletics. So I thank her uh, for her contributions to allow us to do what we do. Uh, that's Coley Electric and Plumbing Supply. Family Vision Care. That's Doctors Hutto, McQuaig, and Day. Uh, some homegrown folks at that doctor's office uh, providing eye care. All three uh, went to school here at Bacon County High School. Went off to college for a few years, albeit I think they had to go to Auburn or somewhere out of state. But that's only because Georgia, the state of Georgia doesn't offer an optometry school. But nonetheless, they came home to help us uh, in our community with our vision care. So we thank them for their continued support. And certainly, uh, last but not least, Burt CPA. Uh, and that is uh, specifically Mr. Larry Taylor. I want to thank him. As a matter of fact, he happens to be the mayor of Alma. But I want to thank him for being a part of what we do. Again, we're a self-sustained program. It is, again, a student uh, broadcasting program. Uh, out of my program, we, we, we do raise some money through the subscription uh, that the NFHS platform provides as well as some advertisements that – Pay for, you know, everything from meals for my kids and uh, travel expenses and those types of things. We're very proud of that, being self-sustained. Um, but, again, thank you for all of your support. Thank you for tuning in, uh, whether it's our Raider Nation or if it's those of you tuning in from maybe Crawford, who we're playing to, uh, in game four, and we'll talk about that now, Sky. Yeah, here um, Lady Raiders took a dub this, uh, I almost said this morning, earlier this afternoon, 12 to 5, and uh, now we're here back again, 6 o'clock. It's I mean, it wasn't really cold earlier, I wouldn't say, but now I think the wind's picked up a little bit. It's got a bit of a chill to it almost. Uh, so uh, weather conditions are changing, and but uh, the Lady Raiders, they're, they're winning ways have Heating not up. changed. You know, they heated up there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they got they got hot there uh, about uh, third, fourth inning, never looked back and um, extended the winning streak to 16. So uh, we'll see if we can make it 17 and be one game away from Columbus. Um, it's crazy looking at the bracket how you go through this super regional and then, I mean, they'll get in a couple practices and then be off to Columbus. And, I mean, after next week, the season's over. That's re right. Regardless if you win or lose. Yeah. Yeah, it, it all <clears> – <throat> this kind of speeds things up, no doubt. And, and he mentioned this super regional. This is the first 
Uh, first time that the GHSA has, has done this, to my knowledge. Um, and what they've done is condensed these two weeks or two rounds of playoffs into one Super Regional where those same four teams that would have probably played one another in the first or second round, they get them in one location, um, like here at Alma and Bacon County. <clears throat> We're the number one seed out of our uh, Region 1A in Division 1. Uh, 1A, and, and I won't even talk about all that, but we are hosting uh, the number two seed uh, from Region 4, that's Crawford County. We're hosting the number three seed from Region 3, that's Metter, and then the number four seed from Region 2, Jefferson County. And uh, Jefferson County was, <coughs> excuse me, eliminated in Game 3 just a, a few moments ago. Game 1, uh, Metter played cr this Crawford team, Metter won, and advanced, uh, excuse me, uh, Metter lost, I'm sorry, and they went to the loser's bracket and then Bacon County played Jefferson, uh, and we defeated them, and that's where we're at now in game four uh, of this uh, tournament. So what you call, so the winner of tonight's game will, uh, will advance to the championship game tomorrow afternoon and to a time to be announced, and then the loser of this game, uh, again, double elimination, uh, the loser of this game will advance to, uh, down, down to the loser's bracket and play Metter. I think that game is set at 1.45, nope, sorry, 4 p.m. Uh, nope, that was this afternoon, 1.45. That game will be played at 1.45, and then the winner of, of, of that game will, will, will advance to play in the championship game approximately at 4 p.m. So that's where we stand. Uh, and, and then he said winner takes all. Uh, winner of this uh, Super Regional will head to Columbus next week, and that's a pretty big deal, pretty big deal. Yeah, Columbus is the big time. I mean, you're talking about eight teams in the entire um, single-A division getting to go. and I mean, one team gets to come out as state champions. and um, I mean, although t the tournament itself lasts a couple of days, you know, championships are forever. And, I mean, realistically, that's what they play for. So um, it is a big deal. It's a really neat venue. I've been four or five times to, to broadcast. We don't have to go broadcast anymore because uh, the NFHS provides that now. Just fun fact, we were actually the first school to go and broadcast live from there, which was pretty neat. That's when we was in double-A. Um, but you're talking eight. We, uh, you're talking to eight teams from each region. You multiply that, you know, which is seven. Uh, that's a lot of schools that's playing some round robin over a course of a couple of days. Of course, they have about yeah. tw uh, ten, eight or ten fields right there in that location, which is it's just softball, softball, softball. It's pretty crazy. And I mean, just throwing this in there, talking about regions and how they align and set up. So, you know, this is, uh, I mean, to our knowledge, the first time they've done this set up here. Um, there is rumors of seven uh, A being completely done away with and diminished and you know all those schools that have to I mean realistically drop down filter to 6A down. yeah and which will probably cause some of those other schools to filter down yeah there'll be region realignment yet again whenever that happens mm -hmm. if it happens Scott would you read off the Lady Raiders lineup and their positions for me yeah we're we're gonna go it looks like the same setup as uh, the earlier game with Alexis Kirkland playing third and batting leadoff Riley Andrews is gonna bat second playing short Haley Han is batting third playing first um, Chloe Pless is indeed pitching this game. She's the cleanup hitter. Jess Cartledge catching. Um, Ayla Dixon is your designated player. Anna Kate Hollingsworth playing right field. Ava Connor playing second. Santana Green in center. And Maddie Metters as the flex. All right, we're about to get things started here. Game four. Um, this is, these the last two teams in the winner's bracket. Again, Crawford defeated Metter in game one this morning. It began at 11.45. And uh, Chloe Pless, the number one pitcher on our staff, has a tremendous season. Uh, like a lot of our Lady Raiders, uh, we mentioned earlier, uh, their record uh, extending to 18-3-1. and 18-3-1. 16-game winning streak on the line for the Lady Raiders. And then. Just a quick note on Chloe. I mean, I was looking at the stats earlier today, and, I mean, I know she's a phenomenal player, but looking at the stats, I mean, she's batting over 400 on the year in the cleanup spot. Um, Pitching-wise, her ERA is like a 1.37 with 92 innings pitched. And so, I mean, I don't have a say-so on 
the all region teams, which I'm sure she'll be a part of, or all region, the player of the year. But I feel like she should definitely be in consideration with the numbers she's put up on both sides of the ball. Now, is Chloe uh, a sophomore? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a good problem for Coach Gay and the staff as we're young. Only two seniors, a handful of juniors, a ton of sophomores, a couple of freshmen sprinkled in. Yeah, I mean, the starting lineup, I believe, is five sophomores, two juniors, and two seniors. So over half of your team is underclassmen still. I can finally see the scoreboard now that the sun is not directly on it. Mm -hmm. One ball, two strikes here in the top of the first. Again, your Lady Raiders are playing. That's going to be oh, just over the left fielder's head. And again, that's that was the uh, the placement of the of the player. We're not anticipating uh, these. It's kind of kind of like what happened this morning, first thing in that or this afternoon, I should say, with the Raiders. Uh, a couple of their girls, I think, hit the ball a little more square than we anticipated. Yeah, and we were out of position. Just, I mean, that's just because of where you know the, uh, the, the little bit of scouting we've been able to do. And that that left field third base line. I mean, that was the hot spot earlier today in our first game. So we'll see if that narrative continues. That was the leadoff batter, Griffin. Was that correct? Yeah. And she, I'm, it's a base hit for her, or a double, actually. Uh, a little bunt there. Lexi's going to make that play, get out at first. Uh, sack play, a little small ball for Ivy. Young, young blood, the catcher, is coming up now for Crawford County. I looked at where that city is at. It oh, starts with an R, Rochelle. Um, if I'm being honest, I'm not sure I've ever heard of Crawford I, County. I, I have. I've heard of the county. I just couldn't remember the seat. Uh, it's over around oh, – it's in West Georgia near Columbus area. Mm. Oh, a little shot fouled down the right field line there over the first base dugout. Again, number five, Youngblood at the plate. Runners at uh, third with one out. ball down the third base line. You mentioned the weather and the sun goes down for good. It's it's going to – that temperature is definitely going to drop. And like you said a moment ago, hopefully the, the wind will, will lie down a little bit when the sun goes down. Uh, that's what's keeping things uh, really cool out there. Ball low there. I think it's supposed to be pretty cold in the morning. I don't know if it's. Uh, I think it's 30s, 40s all week. Another foul ball down the third base line. One two count here with one out in the top of the first. Oh, that ball is going to be just a bit outside. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> to coin the uh, Bob Euchre, <laughs> just a bit outside. <laughs> you know, maybe she was just setting her up to come back inside right here. Oh yeah, that was the purpose of that. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Ball's popped up. Should be a can of corn. That's going to stay on the infield, and Haley Hand is going to secure that. Two outs. Runner at third. Top of the first. Game four. Again, if you're just joining us in this super regional. Now batting number zero, character. As the Raiders are hosting Crawford, Metter, and Jefferson counties. Okay, now we've got two outs with a runner on third, so let's see if we can get out of this without allowing a run here. And that ball is also going to be popped up yeah, in the center field. And Chloe will get out of that and bring your Lady Raiders up the bat with a chance to take the lead and not look back here. All right, we're going to take a quick break in honor of those sponsors I talked about earlier, and we'll be back in just a moment.
All right, we're back. Bottom of the second inning. The Lady Raiders are going to come up to bat. Excuse me, bottom of the first. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Yeah. Um, With uh, uh, Carroll on the mound for Crawford. Sit, sitting here. It's kind of interesting to watch Crawford here pregame and then in between innings they're jumping around and doing all kinds of dances and things like that. I mean, they seem to have plenty of energy out there. They're going to need it uh, if they're going to outlast the Lady Raiders this evening. Um, Maybe it's just a method to stay warm. Maybe that's their game plan. Ball's just a little low. And Crawford coming into this game. 11-13, uh, 11 11 and 13, 2 and 5 in region play. And that 11, that, that, that win came earlier today. They were 10 and 13 coming in today from the regular season from region 4. Oh, man. So this is one of those umpires that his strike call comes a little late. So we're going to have to delay ourselves after every pitch, apparently, to wait on him. Oh. Roll that one over to third base. She'll make that play. Tell you what, she made it pretty close. She's quick. Yeah. Kirkland. Now batting number five, Raleigh Andrews. Andrews is going to come to the plate for the Lady Raiders, reigning homecoming queen. I mentioned that earlier. If you're just joining us, she was crowned homecoming queen uh, almost uh, about a week and a half ago. Yeah, and after watching game one, I almost feel like she's about due at the plate here. Although I do believe her final bat in game one, she did have a nice little stroke. She did. That ball's popped way up in the air. Yeah, that one, she's just a little too far under it. Now batting number three, Haley Hand. Haley Hand is going to come to the plate in the three spot with two outs here in the bottom of the first. Mentioned earlier, I'm going to give David another shout out um, since he paid me a really nice compliment earlier. David Hand, uh, he is also a State Farm agent over in Waycross, Georgia, but he is homegrown here for Alman Bacon County, classmate of mine, 1994. And Haley bats third in the lineup, wears number three, plays first base, which if you know the position numbers, first base is number three. So just a fun fact. <laughs> Ball high in the zone, two balls, three, three two balls, balls. <laughs> three balls, no strikes, two outs. And that's going to hit her, so she'll get to take her base on that. And we love free base runners. Yes, and she's speedy. We'll take them how we can get them. Pless is going to get the bat for the first time today. And that. Clean up position. Lady Raiders won 12 to 5 earlier. Started off a little slow. Got down actually 3 to 1 at one point in the second inning, but then we exploded uh, for seven runs in the thir fourth, third, third inning. And really put the game away. Yeah. Um, Chloe here is down. No, it's going to be 1-1. One, one. Uh, this umpire, he waits until the catcher is throwing the ball back to the pitcher to make his strike call. So. <laughs> that one's going to be low in the dirt. I will say that we still have a nice crowd here, although, honestly, I think we might have more now than we did earlier today, given uh, people getting off work and things like that. Well, this Crawford team is definitely the furthest team to travel. Metters, an hour and 30, 45 minutes. Um, who's the other team? Jefferson. Jefferson. They're about an hour, two hours. Probably bus ride is about two hours. And then this Crawford team is well over three hours. That ball is going to be skied in the shallow center field there. And the second baseman is actually the one that falls down catching it to, to uh, end the Lady Raiders half of the first inning. So that's going to bring us to the top of the second when the score is still 0-0. Zero, zero. 
And we're going to take a quick break here in between innings. We head to the top of the uh, first or second. I'm, I'll, I'll move it to the bottom of the first now, and then I'm going to shoot it right back to the top of the second. Again, I'm pro producing this. I get too caught up in the game to uh, sometimes even put score. So bear with me. I will <laughs> catch it up at some point. But we are going to take a quick break. We'll be back in just a moment. All right, here we've top of the second inning. Carroll's going to lead off for Crawford County here in this top half. You know, I can't help but thinking maybe it's just a purple thing, but every time I think of purple, I think of um, LSU for some reason. I mean, they don't have yellow, but I think it's just the purple that gets to me. They, do, which, they do have a little yellow trim. LSU does. Yeah. But uh, I, I always think of. I don't go quite that high. I think of the Purple Hurricanes over in uh, Fitzgerald. Uh, Jefferson was here earlier. I mean, I'm pretty sure they had some purple. Yeah. Uh, I forget what their mascot is. I think they were the Warriors. Nope. I see. I think that was uh, – maybe they are. It don't sound right. But anyway, we'll look yeah. it up. Yeah, we'll have to research that one, fact check it, get back to you. <laughs> um, in three to seven business days. Oh, strike Long three over up. the outside corner there. Emphatic by the umpire. He didn't. That was that was a quick call there. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what he's been waiting for. Yeah, he gets excited there. It's going to be Widen or Widen. I'm sorry if I'm. That's the catcher, number six for Crawford. It's going to be high and outside. Big, was, big cut there. Yeah, she was late on that one. A little bit low in the zone there. Still a good pitch. No, he, he caught it a strike. Oh, did he? Well, I you, can't You got to give him a second, okay? Okay, one ball, two strikes, one out here. Top of the second. Mm, run girl, no, ball. <laughs> I thought I heard, maybe it was a chair. I thought I heard him go, Ooh. yeah, I thought I heard some loud noise. <laughs> I think it was his chair back there that squeaked a little bit. There it is. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Oh. We, we were just a pitch gotta, uh, quick on the last I got to record this dude. I, I like it when an umpire really, he's, he, he, he not only brought his hand up, he just yeah. he shot him. He fired it out, too. He's getting a full-on workout in. <laughs> That's right. We have too many strikeouts. He might pull something. It's going to bring Phyllis to the plate, left fielder, number 11. I don't think we had, but like, three strikeouts the whole game in, in game number two when the Raiders were playing. Yeah, if, if we had many more, then they weren't memorable, I guess. Swing and a miss. Uh, he's going to be late on that pitch. Now, is Chloe, has she lived in Bacon County her whole life or she move in? She has? Okay. Who 
Pamela, 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 Pamela. Pamela. <coughs> Ooh, that was close. Everybody wanted to ring her up. That had been striking out the side. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. I was she, waiting for the theatrics. From I, think the she's, I think he's going to be very emphatic on this one. Yeah. I should get my phone out. I mean, three in a row. Let's see here. There oh, it is. Oh, just a little inside. Just a bit inside. <laughs> I think I'm not sure at this point if we're rooting more for the umpire or for <laughs> Chloe. I, I think this guy's going to do a dance if he get if we get another one here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Oh, oh, pop flies. Yep, it's going to hang up for Ava Connor to get under and send us to the bottom of the second inning with the uh, score still tied at 0-0. Zero, zero. That's going to be Cartledge Dixon and Hollingsworth up for the Raiders after this short break on the NFHS Network. All right, all right. You miss one. It's all right, all right, all right. Yeah, I didn't want to. Nobody accuse me of trying to outdo uh, the man, the myth, the legend, <laughs> McConaughey. Oh, when I think of, when I think of that, I think of Kevin Hart. Nah, I think of Matthew McConaughey. I mean, I guess maybe that's a generational thing. <laughs> Cartledge is going to lead off. She uh, hit the ball. Yeah, Boy, she squared, yeah. squared it up several times in the game, uh, first game, and got her first career home run. And yeah. she smoked it now into the wind in left field, left center. Oh, that was a nice little pitch there. But, yeah, I mean, you talk about a playoff game stepping up. I mean, she came up, had three huge hits that were all lasers coming off the bat. That's going to be – Low, okay. One one count here. That's gonna be a little high and outside. What did you call Jefferson earlier? The, their mascot? The Warriors. You are correct. I got fact. We got fact check. Caleb, he's home making sure he's listening and watching. Caleb, Caleb Griffin. I wanna. Uh, his mom said he was home. He's at home Ooh. watching on the broadcast and. Uh, uh, critiquing us, he's probably got a clipboard like I got. Yeah, he's, Mark, he's writing down all the little he's probably things. Probably writing down his notes and <laughs> everything else. Now, Caleb, he did a couple. He did a baseball game with me last year and did a fantastic job. And then I, uh, he, we, we talked about a football game this season. We got one in over in Berrien County. Um, they wouldn't let us broadcast live, but we went over and recorded it. And uh, he did another good job. Him and Sky uh, gave me a break for one of the halves. And yeah, we we'd hate for you to tire yourself out. <laughs> I'll get quieter as the evening goes on. It's getting closer to my bedtime. Yeah. Another ball low. That's another great at bat. Jess is going to take her base. And like I said earlier in the first game, a, a walk is a rally in big games. So you get free base runners. You want to put free runs on the board. I'm going to get a courtesy runner. And that's going to be Maddie Metters coming in to run for her. Dixon to the plate, designated player. Yeah, she's a freshman, and, I mean, from when I've seen her play this year, she's hit the ball really well. 
I mean, I think she had a base hit earlier, actually. I'm pretty sure a double in the first game. Bottom of the second. <coughs> oh. This ball is lifted in the deep left that center. That ball is, oh, oh. going to be dropped out near the wall. And, folks, that's another ball. Where's, where's the flag? Uh, is it still blowing? Still? Okay. Well, she didn't quite get enough. Got under it just a little, but she drove it. Yeah, she lifted that one up high up in there and it hung up just long enough for the left fielder to get under, but she was able to secure that catch. Hollingsworth to the plate. It's fun watching crowd reactions on yeah. um, hits like that as they all get up. You know, you could hear them a little better if uh, you wasn't so cold nature. I mean, I'm sitting right in front of a window. The only location that the air could blow into this building. I don't, is, is the wind blowing? No, I don't. I don't feel it right now. Oh, there it is. I like a little crowd noise. Got a little timeout somewhere. Maybe I think it's. Uh, I think it's a wind advisory. <laughs> <laughs> we finally, hopefully, you'll see the the field a little better. It was in that transition period where the between the lights and the sunshine. Um, so as it darkens up a little more uh, around us, uh, you'll get a little better view of the. The field would begin to pop there. Uh, we, we have a stationary camera. We don't move it uh, much, if any, uh, left or right. We zoom in just enough to you know, where you can see the plate. Oh, we're going gonna to try to bunt here with runners on first and second. Well, when there's no outs, that's a, that's a perfect yeah, play. Gonna try to move these guys over. You can get one down here. Again, this is Hollingsworth. Struggled a little bit in the game one. Uh, a couple ground outs. And she had a she did have a one walk. So she's due. There it oh, is. Yeah, and she's gonna get the bunt down with two strikes. That's a huge Oh, oh and safe? they're gonna drop it at first base. That's what when you put pressure on a defense. Man, listen to that crowd. We got cowbells. I mean <laughs> we feel like we're at the Starkville. I, I told Mississippi. you, man. Fire us up. Wait. Bases loaded, no outs here. Bob Ava up the bat, and she has the ability to drive the ball. Got a little, a little chant here. going. Yeah, visit to the mound. Uh, you know, obviously they don't want to get out of hand real quick, but it, it can. You know, you just about you have to think you're going to get at least – at least one run here uh, with just no with no outs. At least one, possibly two. Yeah, Again, right. depending on depending on the situation, you know, double plays are even though the bases are relatively close in softball, double plays are rare. Uh, they have to be um, the uh, ball has to be hit hard and the to the um, right place. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So it, it's you know it, it's uh, it's it's tough. So with no outs, I would predict we would score at least one, possibly two. Or, you know, we could score three, yeah, four. Four with one swing. Yeah. But we could. Oh. You got talk a, about some small ball. Got a play on there. Yeah, and she drops that at home plate. So, Man, Lady Raiders are going to take a 1-0 lead I here. i tell you what. You know, small ball like that, you don't see it too often in any sport or any, whether it's baseball or softball at any level anymore. But I tell you, we had a pretty good baseball team. We went up to Raven County. Uh, it's been seven, six or seven years ago. We were up there broadcasting them. And, and they beat our tail just because of that. We had the better team, top uh, top to bottom. But, man, the pressure they put on our defense and with, with just bunting and this and that, it was crazy. Yeah. It was fun. I mean, it was heartbreaking to watch, but it was also, you know, respected what they did. Oh, there. we're going to try it again. Wow. You know. She's liable to draw back here and smoke this with one. This, with this small ball, you got to think about the execution aspect. This not easy to lay down a great bunt. You just had two in a row laid down. Again, just a lot of pressure. Um, and this is also big. Um, this is the bottom part of the lineup coming up and getting on base and making things happen. So that's exactly what you want from your lineup for them to turn it over to the top and 
um, for the the bottom feeds the top. Oh, we're gonna try again. Mm. Strike two. What 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 you say here? Swinging away here. Or are you gonna risk the foul? Well, foul ball out. Yeah, Anna Kate got it down with two strikes. Um, Green don't look quite as comfortable. Yeah, Santana. I mean Santana, whether she swings away or tries again, I mean she does. Oh, yep. Like I said, she just didn't look didn't look real comfortable. Anytime you're reaching for the ball, you got to. Yeah, you don't want to stab. You, you don't want to stab at it. You got to catch it. Uh, so that's, and she did that twice. You want to. You want the barrel to catch the ball. Let the let the bat do the work. One out now. One run in. Bases loaded, top of the lineup here for Lexi Kirkland. She grounded out her first at bat. And she's going to pop this one up just out of the infield. Shallow. Yep. Mm, that's the worst thing you want. You want to put the ball on the ground somewhere. Um, two outs now. Uh, the bat, number five, Riley Andrews. Well, you got your senior Riley Andrews up the bat here. I so. bet you she's not bunting. No, I. <laughs> That is highly unlikely. Even if there was uh, no outs or one out, I, I, I predict she's not bunny. Uh, us could be trouble. Oh, good play by the first baseman. It's going to end the inning. Yeah, that's another one of those balls that we've seen a lot of those in the first game that were just hit right off the cap. Yeah. Again, one to nothing, uh, Lady Raiders. We head to the top of the third inning. Unable to capitalize on the bases loaded with no outs or, you know. Well, we did get one. I guess overly capitalized. Yeah. You know, exploit it maybe I should say. We did take the lead. Yeah. We're going to take a quick break and be back here in just a moment. And we're back. Top of the third inning here with your Lady Raiders leading 1-0. to zero. Chloe Pless is going to fire a strike on the first pitch. That's going to be fouled off. Got to say, we got a pretty good crowd here as it continues to get darker and continues to get a little bit chillier. But your Raider fans are staying here for this one. Well, I'm not going to be the one to complain about cold weather because I like cold weather. I get enough of the hot weather in July and August, and it's time for some cooler weather. Uh, sometimes you can't take enough clothes off, but you can't put enough on usually to stay warm. Yeah, I just prefer the weather that uh, includes no sunburns. <laughs> well, you know, if, if, if you had been a little more – I don't know, adult. <laughs> you would have put some sunscreen on that day. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't expect to uh, have the sun directly on top of me, uh, physically beating me down. No balls, two strikes. He's referring to a dog's game we went to uh, about a month ago. Beautiful weather it was. Sunny, 70 degrees, 72 maybe. But the sunny part was what got us. Yeah. <laughs> when you're sitting there and the sun is directly over the field and 
there's no clouds to cover you, man. I actually it's, peeled a little. I rarely do that. I peeled on my arms. Oh, ball is hit sharply That's, in the right field. Uh, oh, and Anna Kate's going to let that one slip by her in right field. It's going to have sort of hold up at second there. Yeah, because she's got a big arm. Very athletic young yeah. lady. Um, you kind of handcuffed her there. She yeah. was a little in, indecisive on what she wanted to do. Probably hindsight, she should have held back and got it on the short hop, um, but she attempted to catch it and it just just caught it in between. Um, yeah, that was that was one of those little in between. Um, I know on the infield you say in between hops, but that was <laughs> nearly the same thing there in the outfield. Well hit ball, and let's see here. This is Howard, the first baseman, making her first plate appearance. That ball is going to get uh, – Riley's going to feel that. Oh, what Make a de throw. great defensive play, as you can see on your screen. This is exactly what happened in the first inning. The leadoff double followed by an out. So, let's see if Chloe can rep replicate no, that success. Back to the top of the lineup, and Griffin had a double. Uh, her first at bat. Is that a double or two Bs? But she she walked she she got a hit right she had a double yeah, yeah. she had a double that ball is going to be low and outside there that wind is starting to whip I think I can hear it in the headset now looking at the flag over there so you need me to close the window again is that what you're saying hopefully there's not a a glare and it looks like there is a slight glare so they can see you in the picture well it's better <laughs> they see me than you so. <laughs> Again, uh, top of the lineup, one out, Griffin, second baseman. She's going to try to lay down a bunt there, and she's going to miss. One ball, two strikes, one out, top of the third. Winner advances to the championship game tomorrow about 4 o'clock. Loser will play in the elimination game at 145 yep. tomorrow. Chloe's going to miss low and outside there again. Got a 2-2 two -two count here. A little bit low in the zone. Yep, I, was, I was waiting for the ring up there, but it never came. Full count, one out. That's that might have been ball four, but she yeah, that's fouled it over the third base dugout instead. Yeah, that's going into no man's land down in there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, big swing and miss. Come high and tight. What a great pitch. Uh, that's the first time she's come high, I believe. Yeah. On either either right or left handed batter. That's a that's a big out where one out away from getting out of this um, jam here. Ivy to the plate, third baseman. And she had a sacrifice her first at bat, a little bunt. Again, a little. Oh, no, that's going to be a called strike. Okay, I thought it might have been a little high in the zone, but yeah, I believe that must be the top of the strike zone there. Top of his strike zone. Oh, and that one is going to be high and outside, and that is a rough. But check that ball. I'm sort of surprised that they didn't try Maybe to score there. Pretty good scuff. Well, she, she didn't break. If she had broke, I think uh, she was standing on the bag whenever that basically happened. I mean, that ball bounced up like a pop-up. Yeah, it was 20, at least 20 or 25 feet up the fence, the, the guard. Our catcher waiting for it to come down like she was fielding a punt. Good oh, pitch yes, on that sir, outside. There we go. I'll tell you what, it's a good-looking athlete at the plate. Um, that was a pretty good swing cut against you just – a little bit late. Uh, that ball was positioned well. I think she comes inside and low. What you think? Or is she back outside a little further? One ball, two strikes, two outs. 
Oh, oh perfect. Yeah. Golly, what a there pitch. There we go. There's a three to out. get us out of that inning. Catcher did set up inside, but she actually missed her spot. No so. wonder this girl is, uh, what did you say, 1. Uh, 1.37 on the season. Wow. In 92 innings, so that is not not a small sample size. That's pretty impressive. That was pretty impressive right there, um, eliminating that scoring threat. Uh, again, with only – one out and runner at thirds. So we're going to take another quick break between innings, and we'll be back in just a moment on the NFHS Network. All right, here we go. Uh, really some of the hottest batters in the lineup right now. Um, hand, Pless, and Cartilage. Yeah, got your 3-4-5 up this inning here in the bottom of the third. That could, is could be in trouble. the right center gap there. Oh, oh, yes, oh is. and she's going to. Well, I jinxed her. It, it is trouble. Yeah, she's going to duff that one. That one just bounced right off her glove there. You know they've uh, they've made a few mistakes so far, and um, we've got to just capitalize on them and take advantage of them. So we've only gotten one run to show for it so far. Got Chloe Pless in the batter's box. There's that outside pitch. Pless uh, flew out her first at bat. Again, cartilage on deck and Dixon in the hole. That ball is going to be up. Coach Gay has got the full-on manager role going on. He's got the assistants coaching third and first, and he's in the dugout giving the signs. Let's have to start calling him Brian Snicker over there. <laughs> A lot of signs there. And that's ball is. So, got a relatively yeah. hard hit ground ball there to the third baseman. And I know we said earlier it's hard to turn a double play, and that right there was example A. Yeah. There's the first out and a runner first. Runner at first. We got Jess back up the bat here who's um, as far as in the uh, our first game and this game today, one of if not the hottest bat in the lineup. That ball is going to be high and outside. Did we get a courtesy runner for class or not? No. I hear you. Pitchers are athletes too, man. <laughs> That ball is going to be low. Two balls, no strikes. One out, bottom of the third. I think Coach K is a little upset on that. He might have had a play on or something there. Maybe a missed sign by the base runner. There's a ball low. Oh, wow. We got Chloe's going to get called out at first there for leaving early on the play. So the ball has to cross the plate. 
or as soon as it leaves her hand. Ball leaves her hand. That's right. So that's going to bring us to two outs here in the bottom of the third. I tell you what, I, and I'm not uh, shaming her, but I've. And Jess is going to smash one back up the middle off the pitcher's glove that miraculously ricochets to the second baseman. And she's going to make the play here, but that was a whale hit ball. And a good defensive play uh, by the second baseman. Uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, she's, she smoked it all day. Uh, again, that first career home run earlier in the first mm -hmm. game they played. Um, I was about to say, I don't think I have ever, and I've, I've been, and we, obviously we don't commentate, or I don't commentate every softball game that we do throughout these, these uh, eight or ten years that I've been in softball. I don't think I've ever seen that call before, a uh, runner leave early and be called out like that. But first time for everything. We're going to take another quick break and be back in just a moment. We're back here in the top of the fourth with your Lady Raiders leading Crawford County one to nothing. Chloe's going to miss outside with her first pitch. Oh, hold on, everybody. We, we might have to go off there real quick. We just had a living legend walk up here in the presence, press box. Presence of greatness. Our, our fat checker himself. Uh, he couldn't stand it. He had to come up uh, here. Caleb, to, Caleb Griffin. Um, going to have to start calling him Wikipedia. <laughs> Google master. Hey, I'm going to – I will hand him the headset next in and give him a – uh, a minute to talk. Yeah, we, we need his expert analysis up here. Well, he does again. He he does pretty good with baseball. He does pretty really good with football. Almost too good. I had to. I don't know if I can let him sit with me anymore. That'd be fired me. This ball was hit. Uh, I think that's gonna be yeah it was foul. Just yeah, foul. A late call there. I see a signal there. Let's see here. Is this young blood the catcher leading off? Yeah. Okay. She popped out her first at bat. Carricker, I, I probably slaughtered her name. Uh, that folks, would, when I look at their lineup card, it's the coach's scribble. Carricker. We've got a leadoff walk here. And Carricker is up to bat now. That's going to get I hope, dumped uh, yeah. foul over there beyond the first base bag down the right field line. We're going to bunt it. 
it back to Chloe there. She's Ooh, gonna I think she could have got a lead runner if she had looked. Uh, she had definitely had the distance. I know sometimes it's a risk-reward there. If you happen to throw it over her head or something, you might be in trouble. But I think she had the time to get her. But nonetheless, there's going to be one out. And that's going to be a sacrifice for a character. Yeah. All in all, you want to at least get one out. That's true. In a one or nothing game like this, Carol struck out her last at bat. And she's that's going to be oh, hit. Oh, good play there by that Ava Carter really to be was. moving that way and being there in case the first baseman couldn't get it and she ended up with the ball. And that's going to give us two outs here in the top of the fourth. Widden, Widen, W H I D D O N, Widden, maybe, catcher. Struck out her last at bat. Runner at third with two outs, top of the fourth. Yeah, another big spot here for Chloe to try to get us out of. That ball's going to be fouled straight back to the screen. You know, I'm looking out there with the, the darkness having creeped in. It seems like it's a lot later than it is, but it's probably what. Seven o'clock. Seven twenty-two. Seven twenty-two. That's off the hands down the first baseline foul. That glare was getting pretty bad. Now I guess we, if we could turn the lights out in here, I don't think the glare would be quite as bad. I'm actually not sure why there's that much air coming in here because there's no nothing else open. Oh, mm. uh, that's a good pitch. Just a little outside that zone. Yeah. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Just a little too far outside to get her to chase that one. I'd like to see that I don't get excited right here on this pitch. Yeah, we, we have had one of those famous calls since I think the first inning. So, Oh, we got a. Okay. That's how you leave the field right there. Yeah, getting the crowd excited and everything. Again, one ball, two strikes, two outs, top of the fourth. Raiders lead one to zero. Uh, make sure we get that uh, courtesy runner number down up here with this. Uh, yeah, he, I'll let the ref keep up with it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that is just, not strike three. Okay. Just, just a little low. Twos across the board. Two, two, two. Um, Deuce is wild. Is that strike three? No. Wow. Okay. It's two really good pitches. Uh, just for her to lay off those pitches yeah. says a lot about her uh, patience at the plate. Again, widen the catcher. Struck out her first at bat. Like to see her do it again. Yeah, just or just making out in general. I mean, you know. She's going to foul that one off to keep that bat alive. High and away, maybe, like she got Carroll in the first inning. Well, I believe I believe Chloe's locating relatively well right now. It's just, um, ooh, that was uh, another really good pitch. She just uh, she got that one inside on her hands. Mm -hmm. Just enough to stay alive. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Now, this is the part of the broadcast where we need, like, some music to um, be put in. You know, we could play Staying Alive. <laughs> Stay. Oh, there it, there it is. Hide right away. Chloe gets us out of that inning. Yes, She's going to send us to the bottom of the fourth here. Raiders lead as they go to the bottom of the fourth, as he says. Uh, we're going to take another break and be back here in just a moment.
back here in the bottom of the fourth, and we're graced by the presence of Caleb Griffin now on the broadcast. Go ahead and tell him about yourself, Caleb. <laughs> Man, you got such a sense of humor. Uh, I apologize for my voice. If anything comes out unclear, just know I didn't mean anything by it. Uh, hanging out here in the bottom of the fourth, had to make my appearance. Yeah, man showed up in the Carhartt and everything. He's going he's gonna to tell us when it's going to rain and uh, how the deer are moving this weekend and everything <laughs> else. Well, don't ask me when the deer are moving, but you can ask me when the soybeans need to be picked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> And I was debating the, even coming up here because I know, like, absolutely nobody on this Raiders team even since I graduated here because last year's team was, like, nothing but freshmen. Yeah. Now they're all sophomores. I still don't know them. So. so uh, you, you feel old yet? Yeah, I feel old already. But uh, <clears throat> I'm not as old as Mr. Brent. Yep. I texted him earlier. I don't know if he showed you. Uh, he said he was getting old. I said, yeah, that's why he keeps up. Oh, uh, got a line drive there by Ayla Dixon in between the 5-6 hole that's going to get in the left field for a single. But, yeah, Caleb, you know, I think if we combined our ages, we still would not be as old as Brent. So. I, I don't think we would. I don't think we would. I do believe, though, if we combined our 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 knowledge, we might be pretty close. Yeah. Got a pinch runner here. Yeah, we're going to have Allie Metters come in and run for Ayla there. The freshman has swung the bat pretty well today. Was you here to watch the earlier games? Yeah, I was actually on this broadcast for the earlier oh, game. really? I mean, I haven't watched the, the other teams when they played each other, but you I watched. watched the Raiders game earlier? Yeah. Very nice. I wasn't able to. Tune into the broadcast or be here, so I missed that one. Yeah. Well, you know, better late than never for you to show yeah. up. And well. Grace us. I mean, they I, always told me that a little effort was better than no effort. So. Yeah. I don't know what we'd be able to do without you. <laughs> that ref throwing up his sign language to us that yeah. we do not understand. You know, he's, he's making sure you write down the number for that there. Courtesy runner over well, you there. You got the clipboard and the piece of paper. I left mine at the house. Well, on the, there ain't on the nobody table. up here keeping the books, so but we won't tell him that. We'll just keep on making him that look sounds, up here and sounds good. seem official. That's fine. Now, we'll act like we know what we're doing up here. That's all we can ever do. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> That's fouled off. To fouled off. I'll tell you, Caleb, I sure would like for the Lady Raiders here to score a few runs in this inning. That would be nice. You know, the same thing happened in their earlier game. They started off a little sluggish offensively and then got really ramped up there as the game went on. So, And that's, yep, that's going to get back up the middle there. Gonna hold the runner at second. Yep. One, at one and two. Going to have runners on first and second there. Now batting, number 14, you know, that, that ball just seemed to just slowly roll through the infield. It wasn't very uh, – not a ridiculously hard hit, and I had to hold my hand for a while to make sure it snuck past that second baseman out there. <laughs> Man, where'd you get this hat from? What, the one I'm wearing? This cattle prod hat. Uh, yes, sir. You uh, starting to embrace the, the lifestyle? Uh, I'm out here herding them. Oh, yeah? Yep. A real hand now. Yeah, huh? we're going to be in Wyoming next weekend. <laughs> All right. Why not this weekend? The dogs don't play this weekend. They got the that nice cool yeah, that, break. That nice bye week. Yeah, right before we go eat some gator tail. Yep. Oh, and Ava's going to lay down a pretty good bunt here. Oh, go on. That Did she close. beat it? I know it's going to be a close play at first, but they're going to call her out on the play. But regardless, your Lady Raiders are going to have runners on second and third with one out. There it is. Now batting. Figuring out how to work this computer yes, system here. Got a caveman up here working the technology. <laughs> All this stuff's still new to me. This is only my third time on the mic here. Yeah, yeah thank you for getting that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm a big fan of softball. I don't know I know all the rules and all that good mess, but huge fan of softball. Yeah. You got all your Lady Raider gear at the house? Uh, Not that I know of. 
<laughs> if it's there, you don't know about it. Yeah, that's for sure. It's not my closet, that's for sure. <laughs> it's in your brother's closet, we know. Probably. <laughs> Come on. Uh, that's going to get popped up, I think, the second base. She's going to secure that one and bring us the two outs here in the um, bottom of the fourth. That is correct. Well, how's how's uh, school been going, Kick? You know, it's, it's going. Um, honestly, it's hard for me to really come up with an opinion. I feel like we've had uh, so many days off here recently with the fall break and we had the hurricane and um, – Right. I forgot about the hurricane. Yeah. Oh, there it is. That's going to be a hard line drive in the left That'll field. Score one. Oh, and we hold, were going to – Hold another I three. Think, I think we were going to send that runner coming around third there, but I think she just rolled an ankle on the third base bag. But regardless, let, um, Alexis Kirkland is going to end up with a double on the play in an RBI. Now up to the plate, number five, Riley Andrews. That was, was a pretty hard hit. Ball right there. Yeah, and we've got Anna Kate down there and trying to um, test out that ankle there. That's the one you need to be asking about all the deer. Who, Anna Kate? Oh, yeah. She is, I'm, I'm telling you. So. I wouldn't take her as an avid deer hunter. Oh, yeah. You'd be, you'd be surprised. I am surprised. You, uh, you can uh, talk to probably just about every one of these girls on this on this roster here. And really? Yeah, they probably know more than me. That's for sure. Oh yeah, they got the they got the stands on the private oh, yeah. on the private land. On the private land. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh man. man, that ball right there just seemed like it floated up there. Oh, and call they're gonna out on that make one. the play and call Riley out at first base. There, they're bringing it. Um, and in to the bottom of the four, but your Lady Raiders are going to get a run there to add on to their lead, and it's going to bring the 2-0 here heading to the top of the fifth as we take a break. I turned it the wrong way. Don't worry. We we know what we're doing up here. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> we definitely know. Back here in the top of five. Oh. That was going to find the hole. Yep. That was going to be a little out of our reach there. So Crawford County is going to start off the top of the fifth with a little bloop single there in the right field. Nothing here in the top of the fifth inning. We do play, we play seven, correct? Yes, sir, we do. Oh, That's another one off the hands there. Let's see. If we, oh, oh, and she's gonna bobble that at second base, and Crawford's gonna have runners on first and second with no one out. That's a sophomore play in second, correct? Yes, sir, it is. Coach Gay is going to come out for a quick visit here. I wish we had, like, a coach might have him mic'd up right now. 
that would be cool if we had the technology to mic up. Yeah. Not only coaches, but could you imagine micing up a player? Oh, man. We we would do ratings out oh, the roof. Man, I'm telling you. We could turn this program into something crazy. Yeah. Who, who do we have to talk to to get that in the budget? <laughs> Probably the guy behind us doing absolutely nothing right now. <laughs> you noticed him working on the, a bit of a Santa Claus beard? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's working on the Santa Claus uh, gut, too. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> he's going to fire us. <laughs> well, they don't pay us nothing anyway. He hardly even pays us any attention. Yeah, yeah exactly. He don't even know what we're talking about right now. Exactly. <laughs> we should oh, just start man. talking about random stuff to see how long it takes him to notice. Yeah, man, we could just start talking about how how good this dirt and all this grass yeah. is out here. Could you hear me in the back? Hey, hey, y'all get back to work now. <laughs> yeah. We got some. Oh, we got somebody with their lights on out there in the outfield. Man, he kept flicking like he was trying to eject them when he wasn't yeah. even in here. Yeah, yeah. Am I am I right or am I wrong? Uh, the Braves did not advance. No, they uh, they advanced to the couch at their house for gotcha. the rest of the season. Gotcha. Mm, that's a little line shot fouled off there. So we've got uh, Crawford County's got runners on first and second here in the top of the field. So Chloe's going to have to work her way out of a little jam here. Says we got no balls and two strikes on the scoreboard up there. Runners on first and second. Mm. That ball's a little low and outside. What number is this batting seven? Yeah, we've got number seven up. This is their first baseman. That is going to be popped foul, I believe. Out here on the concrete. Yeah, we heard that one smack. Some lucky fan to get to go home with a souvenir. No, I'm pretty sure they have to return those. That's going to miss outside. Identical placement on that one. Almost. Yeah, we... We need Chloe to get us out of this right here. All it takes is a hard hit ground ball fielded cleanly, and you go from no outs to two outs. I wonder how rare triple plays are in softball. I feel like they're more likely to not happen. As uh, That one got away from her. Yeah. And uh, now the runners are... Advanced to uh, yeah, two got, and three. We've got second and third here with nobody out. As your Lady Raiders have uh, found themselves in a between a rock and a hard place. Shout out to Bailey Zimmerman right there. I was wondering, <laughs> I was wondering if you were making a plug there. Yeah. That's ball number four. Maybe that's just our spot. Maybe we're wanting to go outside there. I mean, all four balls she threw in the exact same place. She missed uh, four times there in the same location. So, let's see how we can work our way out of this one. Back-to-back -back lefties here. Definitely got to fill up the, the same th spot for the fifth time. Uh, definitely got to fill up the strike zone right here. Same spot. Didn't let him have it. Uh, there. Not letting her have it on that one. Either Chloe has a mechanical flaw right now, or either we are um, trying to hit that outside corner. But she is just missing it. There it is. That looked like the same pitch to yeah, me. Yeah. Um, regardless, we're lucky it caught a corner there.
Yeah. Yes. No. Oh we're boy. Safe at home. Man. That's. That's. That's almost one of those where, if the girl doesn't go in the home plate slide, and you almost have to call her out in terms of the ball beating her there. That's for sure. Regardless, we got Crawford County with the bases loaded here in a 2-1 ball game. Now this is the number three or the number four seed coming in to this Super Regional. Let's see here. Crawford is the number two seed in Region 4. Oh, yes, number number two. One and, one and four played earlier. That was us and Jefferson. Yeah. Chloe's missed inside here with both those two pitches so far. She's still hitting the same way. I mean, the same spot every last few pitches. Been in the same area over there. Still in the uh, same area. Uh, umpire's going to give her the inside corner on that one. I'll tell you, we're going to have to work some type of magic here to get out of this. There we go. Strike two. Brings us to two and two. No outs. Bases loaded. Yeah, we. It's two one ball game in the top of the fifth. We need about three strikeouts in a row right here. I mean, no, nothing crazy or anything. That's that was right up and over the net, right coming for us here. Yeah. That's the concrete down there. Chloe's gotten out of a couple jams so far. We need her to get out of one more right here. It's getting loud. Mm, that's going to be a high and outside. 3-2 count right here. This is a big pitch upcoming. Oh, that ball is lifted and lift. So, we got a sacrifice fly there to left field. One out. Yep. What a tied ball game. One out, runners first and second, and a tied ball game now. You know, Caleb, I, I don't want to throw this juju on you or anything, but Crawford County didn't score while Brent was on the headset. They didn't score last season when I was on it. That is also true. All right, then don't bring that on me. That's not my fault. <laughs> you can't do that to me. I mean, we got to blame somebody here. No, I mean, so, something wait. has obviously went wrong. We'll blame the lights out there in left field. It wasn't me. <laughs> we'll blame the lights on the tennis court coming on. Yeah, that's – no. Blame that car he was trying to eject. Yeah. Down. That's what it was. Yeah. What are the lights on the tennis court on for? I, that's what I'm saying. I guess they're trying to light up the parking lot out there. Our new parking lot Our has been, lot. been formed uh, just for this uh, <laughs> super regional. This is pretty cool. Bacon County hosting this type of event. Yeah. Moving up in the world. Oh, yeah. Telling all these teams from north and middle Georgia, welcome to the swamp. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the bayou out here. That's for sure. You know, we got lizards and gators and whatever else out here. Creatures of all types. Yep. That's going to go foul back onto the baseball field behind us. It's fouled off to zero balls, two strikes, one out. Runners on second and first base. Oh, boy. <laughs> Commentary brought to you by avid uh, softball fan Caleb Griffin there. Be <laughs> careful. <laughs> Ball outside there. <laughs> now, I do get excited when uh, college softball comes around. The College World Series Man. is fun to watch. I'm telling you. 
Oh, uh, ground ball yeah, to second base. Second. All right, we're going to make that play. Going to get an out. We got two outs. We're one out away from getting out of this, and Crawford's still threatening with runners on second and third here. You know, you said you mentioned earlier that uh, we started out sluggish in the earlier game. And then the bats finally got hot, but uh, <coughs> I've been seeing us hit it all night long. Yeah, I mean, we've hit some balls, and this game, it's just been a matter of hitting it right at people and um, not being able to find the holes. Yeah, that was right down the middle. It that went foul. Yep, that's going to get foul. It's going to be a long out. Um, Strike number one there. That ball comes back into frame <laughs> from out of nowhere. And you got the first base coach showing off the arm there. <laughs> you got to think about the, the doggone confidence booster that Clover would get here striking this one out. Oh, yeah. Just getting out of this in general and keeping oh, this game sure. tied. Definitely don't want to surrender lead. Oh, All way inside. Yep. Brings in another run. They're going to get a run there on a wild pitch. Fouled back also. All right, so we're one strike away from getting out of this inning. This nightmare. I think I may get off the get off the mic after this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man! Come on! That definitely looked like a good pitch. Man, it's hard to tell from up here. We can't. I try not to say a whole lot because I'm real bad about. Oh, and man. Chloe's going to strike her out. Oh, Jess. Okay. Make the play anyway. All She's right. So, we get out of that inning there finally after. Um, we end up giving up three runs. So, Crawford County is going to take the lead here into the bottom of the fifth with your Lady Raiders needing to add to the scoreboard here to get this lead back and advance. I think Caleb's going to. Sign off. Yep, I'm gonna have to. I'm yep. gonna have to hop off the back. See what he knows it's his fault. They scored the runs, not, it's not so my he's. Fault. It's not. Yeah, it's not my fault. Do not. Uh, yeah. Don't blame that on me. When Bacon County takes like a 15 to three lead right here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a break. We'll be right back. All right, I know everybody's going to be disappointed at home. 
Caleb leaving, but hopefully that the bad vibe is leaving too. You know, yeah, maybe, we, maybe the Lady Raiders can pour it on right here. We got the the slacker back up here on the <laughs> headset. Well, you know, when I left, we were up. Okay, that's all I can, that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, uh, three to two, down one here in the bottom of the fifth. Got three more at bats to make something happen here. Yeah, and these these Lady Raiders just got to get something going here. Got uh, they put a few hits together, but they got to put something together in a row. I think this is hand, right? Hand plus yeah. and cartilage, right where we started last yeah. inning. Three, four, five. I mean, this is this is what you want up there in this the situation. Blue one outside. Based on reached on a walk and an error, did hand. Pitcher. Got a little cold sitting in the dugout for about 20 minutes over there. This ball's mm. sharply to the third baseman. She's got a cannon. Yeah, she makes that play. I feel like that third baseman's a pretty solid player. I think so, too. Uh, she looks the part, you know, when we first saw her at the plate. Uh, didn't really notice her at third until I after saw her at the plate. Then I watched her at third. Uh, good, good-looking athlete. All right. You know, this is one of those crazy situations where, I mean, Crawford comes in here. They're a two-seed. They have a losing record. I mean, you know, we're 18-3, big winning streak. And, I mean, we've just found ourselves here in a fight. Yeah, and when we don't know, this is what else we didn't. I didn't dig it deep enough to, to see uh, who else was in their region and how good those teams were as well. Um, so, again, it's, it's definitely a, a solid team, well yeah. coached. They've, uh, they've showed up and played well in this ball game. Again, we, we talked earlier. None of these teams had anything to lose, you know. All the pressure's on the number one seed, uh, the host team, and, and the pressure's on us. And maybe that's what we felt just a little bit uh, early on in game, the first game we played. And, <clears throat> and again, that it'll creep up on you if you're not careful here in this game as we're down one with three to go. This brings uh, Pless to the plate. The pitcher trying to uh, – record trying to help herself here. Yeah, and, I mean, I don't recall us really having a bunch of strikeouts this game at the plate. I mean, I feel like we've put the ball in play, and they've just made plays. Yeah, we've had one strikeout. Yeah. Nice little change up there just off the plate. Uh, there is a big uh, drop-off in velocity there on, um, with that change up. Yeah. <laughs> it'd, it'd make you look silly if yeah. you were to swing at it. One of those you gotta wait on it and I remember wait longer. Uh, the the, la the last Harper that off. the last Harper girl. That'd be uh Bree. Bree Harper. She had a, a, a big time change up like that. Like, you'd have to be careful because they can't throw the ball but a certain height off the ground approximately. Um so to throw it really slow, you can't throw it really high. Yep, close up here, just fouling balls off and staying alive. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Again, bottom of the fifth. Eagles. Eagles, Crawford County Eagles. No, since since Brent can't uh, read the front of their jerseys here, it's all right. That's what I'm here for. Uh, that's going to get down over um, the uh, first base dugout. No, no. A baseball game, you'd say, man, she's driving up their pitch count right now, but I don't believe pitch count's as big of a deal in softball as not, it is baseball. Not a big deal. It's more of a natural motion. Uh, it's a big strikeout there. We just talked about didn't have many. It's going to bring Cartledge to the plate. Now, Cartledge, she has hit the ball well all day. You could tie it up one swing here. Uh, you know, it'd be probably, you know, sometimes when you get that first home run, that's, I know when I was in, uh, played baseball, uh, especially Little League, I remember, uh, or Pony League. And it took me forever to hit my first home run. But once I did, man, I was 
popping them left and right. Um, maybe we'll see that out of a cartilage here. We've got a pause in the game here. I'm not sure what's going on. Is it, a lot of times it's a Yeah, we got a uh, left fielder, I think, is having a, a health, issue, health issue of some sort here. Um, but I'll take this time again. I want to thank our 2022-23 athletic school year title sponsors, Coley Electric and Plumbing Supply, Family Vision Care, and Burt CPAs for being a part of our broadcast. Um, I, you know, I've had a little bit of difficulty. Uh, a couple, the two of the games today that were non-Red Raider were going to be broadcast on the automated camera system, which works very well. It has all season up until today. I contact the tech support, and they say, oh, you might have uh, had an issue with some software problems we're having. It should be fixed tomorrow. So, I, strangely enough, um, that's the case. So, uh, hopefully it, it will be fixed tomorrow. I had hardly any problems with these automated systems. Got strike one there delivered to Jess at the plate. She had a walk and a fly out this game. And if she squares that oh, one up, boy. deep to center, will it stay in the oh, – no. just too much wind. It's going to fall a little short. It's going to be three up, three down for the Red Raiders. Not exactly what we were looking for here in the bottom of the fifth, but yeah. we head to the top of the six. Got to, got to hold them, you know. Yeah, I mean, you're down by one. You got six outs left at the plate. You don't want to have to dig yourself a deeper hole to get out of. Again, we'll take another quick break on our sponsors. We'll be back in just a moment. All right, Sky, we were just kind of talking uh, before we, you know, went off air that in and just can't afford at this point to give up any more runs with, with six outs remaining on offense. Yeah, we, we don't need any walks. We don't need any um, miscues in the field. Um, this is definitely the part of the ball game in this situation where you've got to really be tight. I didn't catch her number. I think this is Widden. She has struck out twice. So you look at that two ways either with that swing it looks like maybe another strikeout opportunity but you could also look at it well this young lady's due uh, but definitely could use another strikeout ground out pop up here and That's there's grounded out to second base there Ava's gonna make that oh, play what a stretch and play yes sir out number I'll, one there in the top I, of the six. I'll tell you what she used a little bit of cat like reflex there to get over to that ball I was afraid she wasn't gonna be there in time um, yeah, where she, she had, was playing and she where had to go it. a little ways there with her positioning. Brings up uh, Phyllis, left fielder. She popped out and had a base hit her last okay, at bat. There go. Oh. 
Uh-oh, trouble up the middle. Another base hit. Yep. That was Just a little C&I single, nothing major. You know, a throw behind her there at first base. She's going to be safe. Yeah, here's where you got to make sure that your defense is set up properly. Uh, you don't want to, you know, our, our outfield is in. You don't want to risk getting burnt. Uh, but you got to trust your, your scouting as well. This brings up Lloyd, the DP. She has a single, and she reached on an error. Chloe's going to miss high with that one. The runner's going to get second base out of that. Good pitch. Yeah, that's going to be a strike there. So we got one, two on this batter with one out here in the top of the sixth to run her on second base. We definitely want to keep her where she's at. Another good pitch. Ooh, just low in the zone. But again, you got a team here who's, again, not nothing to lose. I mean, you could see, you know, with a lead, like you know, you can see a hit and run here. Yeah. Um, yeah. They they have no pressure on them. I mean, everything they do is just a, a bonus. Ground ball first. Oh, go. that's going to get under the first baseman's glove, I believe. She did not want to run on Hollinsworth. That's she has a big arm. Yeah, good throw there to and the plate went, from right field. Yeah, very accurate as well there. Runners on the corner with one out. That's. Uh, Got to hold them. Got to, I don't know, you know, again, I, I'm careful how I say, I don't want to belittle any of our girls, you, but you got to figure, find a way to knock that ball down to keep it from going to the outfield. Um, maybe hold that runner. Oh, there we go. Strike over the outer third of the plate there. Again, these girls, it's this uh, Crawford team just trying to put the ball in play. Again, put that pressure on our defense. Another well, good pick. Strike two there. I'm pretty sure they had a play on us. The batter had no intention of swinging the bat there as the runner took second base. I think she's trying to shoot it down that third base line. Yeah. It's giving us trouble most of the day. That third base line has done us wrong a few times today. Again, this is Howard. I don't think I introduced her first baseman. The ground out and a base on ball. No balls, two strikes. Ooh, good pitch. Really, uh, really could use a strikeout. Yeah. You got, you know, you got to have a strikeout or an infield pop up. Or something, you know, hit and fielded by the pitcher that can look the runner back at third and get the out at first. Boy, she is just and getting closer is, and closer. She, to that she is just flipping the bat out there to foul these pitches off. I'm just afraid she's going to flip one right over the third baseman's head. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen a little bit, a few of those are just dink and dunks today. There it is. No, Allie's going to make that catch. Oh, yeah. Yes, what, sir. what a great great defensive line, uh, you know, line up there. She's been playing shallow most of the night. Uh, that first inning, the first batter hurt us yeah. because of our defensive positioning. Um, but since then, man, I didn't realize exactly how close she was in uh, <clears throat> until the ball was hit. But great pitch, great play. 
We just need one more right here. Back to the top of the lineup. To Griffin. Had a double, a strikeout. Mm, oh, man, that was just in the perfect spot in that 5-6 hole. Yeah, even if she makes the – she stops the ball, I don't think she gets the out at first. Yeah. Again, one of those C and I singles. It's 4-2. to two. That was just well placed. Runners at the corner. Two outs. Top of the sixth. That ball's going to be outside. I think Pless may be pressing just a little bit. Just need one big pitch right here. It's Ivy at the plate. That's Sacrifice, strikeout, and That's another sack fly. It's the third baseman. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, boy. That's going to go foul. <laughs> it's over there in the um, bullpen area. One ball, two strikes. Two outs. Boy, this is a big spot right here. Yeah, this is huge. Two-run lead is one thing, but three. This ball is probably going to be out yeah, of play as well. going to be foul. Into the bullpen. That's trouble. Nope. Allie's oh. going to be there and make that play. <laughs> that, is, that is a big play out there. Wow. She was smooth now. I, and I just I thought it wasn't hit quite as hard, I guess, as I thought it was. But yeah. she went a long ways. Man, you, you just got to believe, man. The ball comes off the bat. You just got to believe that somebody's going to be there. Kylie, what a play. What a defensive play. Got her mom up here. I know she's super proud. And her little baby sister. Nine months old. She was sleeping pretty good a while ago. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's a great defensive play. Two plays that uh, Allie made this inning helped the Lady Raiders stop that bleeding. Four to two as we head into the bottom of six. Got to make something happen here. Big situation. I mean, you're. All right, we're back here in the bottom of the six with freshman Ayla Dixon up the bat here, and she's swung the bat pretty well today, so we need her to keep that energy going right now and get a rally started for your Lady Raiders as they find themselves trailing four to two here. We definitely we got six outs remaining to come back and um, get this tide turned in our favor. Got a strike there on the first pitch. Well, you don't have to get them all back here. You know, just if we can just somehow you score one, score two to tie it up. Hey, one at a time. As a batter, you just want to get on base and keep the line moving. 
Dixon reached on an error, and she had a real solid base hit her last at bat. And again, this is a freshman in the lineup. Mm, that ball was high in the zone, but she couldn't lay off on ball two strikes. You know, I think she's got us a couple times on uh, that ball up in the zone as we've gotten just underneath the ball, I want to say, probably a handful of times in this game. Or it's just been a little too high up on the barrel. Leave it up. Two balls, two strikes. Is there one out? No, there's no outs. No outs. outs. She's, okay, yes, yeah, Dixon's leading off. I was th For some reason, I keep thinking Cartless let off this end. Ooh. She's going to take that low. Well, that, hey. was a, that was a good layoff right there. That pitch looked good coming in. Yeah. Well, We'll take a walk right here, though, if she'll give us one. A walk is a rally. Any way we can get them on base. Ball outside. Yep, there we go. That's a good at bat by there. a freshman. There's the first runner of the inning. It's going to bring up Hollingsworth, and she had a sacrifice and a, and a base hit her last at bat. We need, we need another one right here. So we're going to get a base runner. Again, Anna Kate, Jr. Just keep the line moving. put the base hit play on right here where we make contact and the ball falls somewhere where a defender is and we run around the bases. <laughs> I thought he was going over to tell Greg to stay in the dugout. He's going to get some more balls. <laughs> <laughs> he was pointing like this right here. Yeah. I don't know. He's telling him how many balls he wanted. I don't know. All right, Anna Kate up here with the runner on first. That ball's going to get lifted down the right field line. I don't think, nope, she's not going to get there. Where's it at? Anna Kate, 0 1 count. Is that big, slow, slow pitch. I'll tell you, this is part of the ball game where you're the trailing team. Every pitch is so big. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, well, it's going to have a ground out the first base there, but it'll, it'll be a sacrifice. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's. At least advance the runner. That does. Puts him in scoring position. One out. Brings up Connor. And Connor could tie this thing up with one, one swing of the bat. Absolutely. I don't think the wind is blowing quite as hard as it was when Jess was up. Oh, it's Oh, nope, it's good. She's on ball. Yeah, well, there we go. We needed that. There we go. I mean, that's that's a tough play. I, that's yeah. an infield base hit there. I, I think the pitcher might have got her glove on that and slowed she her did. down. She did. I think she tapped it just a little bit. She's out there having to play dodgeball right now. Mm. 
All right, we got one out here. Runners on first and third for Santana Green, senior up the bat. Oh, was, that was ball one, but up in the zone, you see it well. That's one of those where your eyes kind of light up and you think, you think it's your pitch. That one's going to leak out foul down the right field line. Closer over to the bullpen area. And one of those situations where we need the bottom of the lineup to feed the top right here and let the top try to produce. What we got? Uh, first and third, one out. Well, I was ref come out. I'm not sure uh, exactly. Uh, I don't know who did did Santana call a timeout. She must have. Corners one out. O two. Ooh, ball was up in the zone. Man, I'd love to see a multi base hit here by Santana. She could do it. Hit it to the gap. Tie this thing up. We got to get one run home. We got to get it run at third home somehow. Yep. Got to get on base. Oh, and she's going to tap that one back to the mound there. But It's like she – It was that big, slow pitch. She was just – she was expecting something else and was just early. Back to the top of the lineup with Kirkland. Now batting number seven, Alexis Kirkland. Kirkland had a double. Yeah, now she had a hard hit her last at bat. If she can replicate that right here, we'll tie this ball game. They're – Outfielders are straight away deep. Infield is. No, we need one of them little uh, normal depth. Pop flies just drop right in beyond the um, dirt here. One of those to go our way. Well, with two outs, no matter what they're going, this could this could be trouble. Oh, oh yeah, well, yes. Well, that, that falls down to foul well, territory. I actually thought it might have had a chance to stay in inbounds, but it kept pushing, pushing, pushing uh, out of play to the right. Big situation here. Two outs, runners on second and third, down by two. There it is. There it is. That ball's going to get in the left field. Avery Connor's coming from second base. We got to throw the plate. Get down. She's safe. Yes, sir. She's going to be safe at the plate. Tie ball game, four to four. Lady Raiders are back. What a clutch, Man. clutch hit by Kirkland. Man, that is huge. You know, she had a tough time today at third base. Right? Yeah, yeah. And then you see what she just got her base hit to tie the ball game right over the third baseman's head. No controversy there at home. It was a wasn't really even a bang bang play. Um, she was obviously safe. Yeah. It it wasn't a bad throw though, coming from. No, uh, it was a very good throw. I, I knew it was going to be close. I knew it was going to be close, but I'm very glad of the uh, aggressive base running there by the Lady Raiders, tying this thing up four to four. Oh, Uncle Mo, yeah, maybe about to show up. I hope so. I think, I think maybe he might have just showed up on our doorstep. Momentum is what I'm talking about there. And Kirkland, she's just a sophomore, correct? Yep. Uh, we got our senior, Riley Andrews, up the bat here. I believe she's committed to, uh, what is it, Coastal Georgia to play? She has. She could just really uh, put a uh, jolt. Go ahead and uh, give us a lead here. Ooh. That oh, was one like, you just tee off yeah, on, man. Just, just rip like, that like a golf club. High in the 
zone. <laughs> that pitch is just hanging <laughs> up there forever. <laughs> If you could wait on it, man, you could hit it to the tennis courts, I, I think. I feel like you could reach out and just catch that ball barehanded. There it is. Oh, uh, boy, she was on it. Mm. That ball had a little bit of that movement away from Riley there, and she caught that off the just tip of the bat. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Man, what a clutch hit. Oh, that ball was outside. Yeah. Again, like you said, that ball just kind of tails. Yeah, that ball is tailing away right now. That big slow pitch again. I, I believe she's missed up in the zone every time with that pitch. But the big pitch again. There we go. That ball's going to get in that five six hole. We're going to we're going to send Lexi around. Oh. oh, yeah, he got her. They're going to call her out. That, that was that was a really good play. I, See, I know the ball was there. Now, I'm not sure about the tag. I know the ball was there. That was a good job by the catcher to hang on to that ball because I do not think she secured that in her glove that, very well. That would be the only thing that could have been uh, uh, controversial because it was you saw a lot of the ball. Yeah, I was glove. pretty sure that ball was about to pop out of her glove on that play. All right, here we are, top of the seventh inning. And, man, what a big bottom of the sixth that was. Clutch hitting there by the Lady Raiders, specifically Kirkland, tying this game up. Yep. Just talking between uh, innings here, what a what a play there that was at the plate. You know, it was it was a bang-bang. Um, I, I commend Coach for pushing the button there. You had to force in a, a really good throw, and that's what she did. Yeah, and your that, your left fielder had to literally come up with a perfect throw. Your catcher had to make a perfect play at the plate, and they were able to put it together and execute it. Yeah. So. yeah, the only doubt, the ball was there, tag was there. The only doubt, it was the ball completely secure, but we'll never know. Yeah. Uh, we, we just saw a lot of the white of the ball outside of her glove. That's uh, going to be foul back behind us. But irregardless, four to four, Raiders did what they needed to do. Didn't have to get all of them back at one time, but man, right. what an exciting inning that they, was to do that. They put themselves in position to win this ball game. That's Pop up, infield fly to Chloe. She's going to handle it herself. There's your first out of the seventh inning. 
Just need two more. Two more and get back to the bat rack. That's going to get popped up. Ah, uh, we're not going to be able to quite get there. Top to seventh here. One strike, one out. Tie ball game. Every pitch is big. Ooh, oh, ring her up. Let's say, oh. let's say she went there. Mr. David Hand, you have gotten uh, an exciting game tonight. You said when we commentate, we, we make it more exciting. Uh, well, the girls make it more exciting. We just uh, try to add to it. Uh, that's going to get fouled back. I feel like right now everybody is just on edge this situation. Oh, you love this. I mean, yeah, we wanted to dominate and yeah. run rule and get on out of here and play tomorrow night, but – but man, this is this is what it's about. This, this um, just locks you in in a different way. This is playoff softball, um, and, and, it's, and hopefully, again, we hope it'll come out in the positive tonight for the Raiders. We're not eliminated if we were to lose tonight. We play tomorrow uh, in the losers bracket uh, round of, at one forty-five, and, and win that game, we're still in the championship game. But uh, makes things easier if you can go straight to the championship game from here. Strike yeah, there we out. go. Two outs. Two outs. Chloe stepping up big there. One more. She's fired up. What's that? 1.37 ERA there coming into play. I don't There's probably, what, two unearned runs on that board out of the four? I'd say so. They're definitely not all on the score earned. here. Good pitch. Is that going to be a strike? Nope. Yes. yes, there it is. <laughs> Told you, you got to wait for it. It's like a two, three second delay wait for there. It. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, my right gosh. off the bag. We so, we have seen that three times today. It's a tough, this, this time it's the first base bag. Tough, tough play there. Eight thirty. Started at about six thirty, two hours into this game. We got eleven and a half hours before we start a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe's got her groove back here. Well, in all honesty, I mean, I'm not sure they've really strung base hits together against her all ball game. That's well, go foul. You know, I'm just the inning that they scored and went ahead by two. She had a wild pitch or two there. Um, so again, I, I think she's she's refocused. I tell you, there's there's plenty of foul balls over there on that baseball field if they haven't been picking them all up or not. Ooh, how on. about that? That's is that, you know, how about a little help there? Can we can we get an appeal out here? One ball, two strikes, two outs. Runner at second now. Top of the seventh. Just need one more strike right here. Ground ball. Off the third base. Oh, my gosh. Wow, you talk about a see, lucky bounce. Just, just C and I, I mean, just what, off. was it off plus? No, it was off the third baseman. Okay, the third baseman. Yeah. That's right. She'd off, come over. Off the third baseman. 
the ball it took Riley that way, and it's just out of her reach. Trickles in the left field. Crawford's going to regain the lead here. Yep. Top of the seventh. Five to four. Your Lady Raiders are going to have to answer in the bottom. That's going to be fouled off there. There we go. Strike two. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Ugh. Five to four, top of the seventh. Strike there we three. go. Strike three. All right. We're going to go to the bottom of the seven. Your Lady Raiders need one to tie, two to win. We're going to take a quick break and be back in a moment. All right, for all the marbles right here in this game, at least, again, um, well, we've got a couple things here. It doesn't mean much right now, and we don't care about that. We, we care about advancing to Columbus, but we've you know, got a 16-game winning streak on the line. Um, and we've got a possible. You're know, going to get foul. You know, you, you, you want to try to keep yourself out of that elimination game, which is what it would be tomorrow at 145 uh, versus um, Metter. Metter, yep. We would play Metter for the first time. Ooh. Is that, that's, yeah, that's, I don't think she has thrown that changeup for a strike no, yet. It's, it's been high every yeah, time. every time. There's a. Blooper out to right field. Uh, yes, oh. sir, and that gets down. She's oh oh I don't, man. Know, I don't know what kind of arm. If she, you know you know I don't know in baseball you have a chance to kind of make a turn a lot of times there, but you got to be careful. And I and I I'm, I'm good with that because yeah. you don't want to get through out at second base. In this situation, you just need base runners. That's that's for sure. We and we got a fast base runner at that. I mean, let's be honest here. A ball in the gap, she might score from first. So. And this is uh, fitting, it, you know, with Pless coming up, she has a chance to. Yeah, she's, she's got a chance to help herself, to help herself out. out right here. In a big way. And she attempted to lay down a bunt. Hmm. She's uh, she's flew out. Um. Struck out her last at bat. Maybe that's what he's concerned about. I don't, I'm not sure, given an opportunity to bunt. Of course, if she is able to push that down the first baseline here, we might end up with two runners on. She backs off. We haven't even we haven't attempted a steal. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I hadn't really noticed uh, during the warm-ups what the catcher kind of arm she's got. But I do know that the – the short and second are way off the bag. Yeah. 
Mm. Big cut high in the zone. That was probably ball two. Just need some contact. It's that pitch is staying up in the zone. Two balls, two strikes, no outs. Bottom of the seventh. Got to score at least one to tie. It's going to get fouled off. I'm not sure how long this winning streak, as it when it started, uh, it, it you know you do the math two games a week it's, it's been at least six or seven weeks yeah and you know you got some weather games in there that we didn't play so it's probably seven to eight weeks this winning streak oh man <laughs> boy that's, that was a really good pitch all right you know? there and i'm not saying it was a strike but it was yeah. just a really good pitch that that Pless was able to lay off of three balls two strikes no outs this here we is, go this is a huge pitch right here yeah oh uh, as a player and a coach, these situations right here get you going. That's good. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. That's go. finally going to take a Fair bounce ball. our way. We're going to get under here at the third base. Yes, sir. Second and third, no out. Second and third, nobody out. And we finally get a bounce to go our way for once The today. hardest, other than maybe the home run, the hardest ball hit by the pitcher off that third baseman. Yes. Really just handcuffed her. I mean, that, we talked about her all night, just really good athlete yeah. maybe their best player just by looking at her and That's, seeing her uh that is a hard play to make and jess cartledge is going to be up the bat and she has hit lasers all day so far we just need one more yeah, she got a chance to win it right here oh no oh, they she's not going to have a chance you know, that's a that's a lot of respect right there. That's yeah. a lot of you know, a lot of people get mad when that happens, but that that shows a lot of respect for that young lady, and she deserved it well, after the the two games that she's they're, had. They're gonna they're gonna create a force at any base, and I mean Jess's run means nothing here. So it's the runners on second and third that they're concerned about, and to be honest, we're concerned about because we need them to cross home plate. Yeah, what what do you feel about a squeeze here? Who's up to bat here? Who, who can, can, so uh, this is, so Dixon can uh, Dixon bunt? No, Allie Metters is hitting. Oh, Allie's going to bat for Dixon. So, Pless had a base, a double, basically. And cartilage was walked. So, got a sub for Dixon. It's going to be Allie. Mm-hmm. Does Allie bunt? Talking to her mom. Allie's made a couple defensive plays. It's kept us in this ball game. You know, I mean, this is just the perfect story here. I mean, you got someone that's made a couple big plays in the outfield to keep the score where it was and keep us in the game. And now she comes up in a situation where she can officially end and win the game for your Lady Raiders. I know one thing. If she gets a base hit right here, this place is going to go nuts. Well, I said earlier, and I and I'm not. This is just the truth. You know, when you have bases loaded with no outs, the chances of you scoring at least one are extremely high. So yeah. we we om, you know, I hate to say it, I anticipate us tying this thing up at least. But as stranger things have happened, you get a couple pop ups, a strikeout, that sort of thing. But it's uh, it, it, the odds are in our favor. It's going to be ball two, 2-0. Two I wouldn't swing at two more pitches. I would set and uh, I'd, I'd watch think, two more. I, I think. think you definitely take right here until she throws a strike. Uh, I, I, You know, it's uh, a lot of pressure on that young lady. I mean, it, this is the underdog trying to pull the Absolutely. upset right here. I mean, now the pressure is on them, honestly. Good three, eye, three oh. three ball. I'm definitely yeah, sitting. We, I'm watching two. Definitely not swinging right yeah, here. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm watching two more. Bottom of seventh, no outs, bases loaded. Yep. Five to four, Lady Raiders trail. <laughs> Got her mom up here telling her, just take the pitch. All right, there's strike one. I'm taking another one. And, man, she had to groove that one across the plate. That's one of those where if she, if she had the green light there and could have smashed it. You know, that, that ball was on the out, outer. I mean, it was slightly off the plate, half the ball.
Come on. Ball low. Is that a ball? Oh, no. Oh, wow. Wow, that ball oh, was wow. low. All right, 3-2. And the, the suspense continues. Drive it. Just drive it. Put the bat on the ball. Put pressure on them. She's got to throw another one over the plate. Ball oh, low. There it is. There we go. That's Tie a, ball game. You talk about a great at bat. Yes. By another sophomore. Yes. Still no outs, bases loaded. No outs. <laughs> Win and run on third base here for your Lady Raiders. If she, if she crosses this plate, this place is going to erupt. We got the fans jumping up and down. Ball one. Yeah. I, no. Whoa. Oh. Okay, never mind. Strike one. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> Hollinsworth with a chance to. Uh, that's oh, going to do I, it. I believe that is going to be well deep enough. Oh, and she drops it anyway. That's the ball yes, game. Yes, sir. That's going to be your ball game. Your later Raiders will advance in the winner's bracket. The streak lives on. Wow, 17 in a row. A lot of stuff going on. Yes, sir. Uh, wow, these ladies are excited, and they should be. Man, uh, this is awesome. You know, it, these, you know, I, I give a lot of credit to this Crawford team. They they give us all they had. Uh, you know, and I, I you know, you kind of want to root for them tomorrow. Uh, give us another shot at them uh, in the championship game, but. What this does is, he said, we, we remain in that winner's bracket. We will not play till tomorrow afternoon at four, around 4 p.m. Yeah. Uh, there will be a consolidation game or well, or the, the, the elimination game at 145, and that's going to be between this good Crawford team and uh, Matter. And there, there's a chance we play them again yeah, tomorrow night. Yeah, I'm saying. There's a, there's a good chance uh, that we will play because Crawford beat Matter in game one this morning. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, uh, this huge crowd here. Uh, when when you you have a game like this, um, girls come back and fight those last two innings. Yeah. You know, with they uh, just kind of a gut punch when they scored that extra run there. I mean, in the for, top of the seven. For you to pull off a seventeen game winning streak, you're going to have moments and situations like this, and the, you're going to have to be able to come through in those to keep streaks like that alive. So, it shows a lot of heart, a lot of fight from the Lady Raiders. They never budged. Had to fight back from multiple deficits in this ball game. Never blinked. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, we will be you join us again tomorrow afternoon. We'll be here uh, live at four ish, wherever whatever time the Lady Raiders will play, commentating again. Um, again, thank you uh, for joining us on the NFHS Network, powered by Play On Sports. Congratulations to the Lady Raiders again, advancing the championship game, uh, extending that winning streak to seventeen. Again, that that, that means a lot, but um, you know it it means more uh, to getting that stay in that winner's bracket and giving us an opportunity to advance to Columbus next week. Uh, but on behalf of uh, Coach Keck and myself, Brent Johnson, again, thank you for joining us on the NFHS Network, powered by Play on Sports, brought to you by BCTV Red Raider Broadcasting.